we take a look at the highlights. Final race of this year's season. The Super Cheap Auto Bathurst International got underway with 18 cars. And you just knew from the outside, outset, Greg Rust, it was going to be full of tension, stress, and ultimately drama. It was a nail biter, Matt. And at this point, Tony D'Alberto was passed by Cody Garland. It put Tony on the precipice, back in 11th. There were a couple of other moves up in front. This for the Schaeffler entry of Dylan O'Keefe. He led the race for a brief moment, but in two, a little wide and into the wall. This was Brown down through the chase, and that was the leading cars ahead. This is when it started to open up for Will Brown, didn't it? He sat back there in third spot. He could smell a championship once the tie spoke entered the air vents of his liquid Molly Audi. He picked off one by one, then this super move, brave stuff across the grass, and going after Aaron Cameron to take the lead and put himself into the championship lead at this point of the race. There was more to come. They cheered at Melbourne performance. Then this for Jordan Cox. There was an issue with the front splitter. The team would have to dive underneath it and remove some of the fiberglass that was rubbing on the tyre. Brown led briefly. Sweeney snatched the lead when he had a moment down at the chase. Sweeney would end up with a great result in terms of his rookie season, but Brown would fight back. It's a great scrap, wasn't it, down here at the final turn. So Sweeney stayed in the lead. This was the replay of Suter going off. That was at the top of the mountain at McPhillamy Park. And this was the moment that opened the door for Will Brown to go back into the lead in the closing stages of the race to pick up the lead and the win. But missed out the championship by two points. But hey, gets a W next to his name for the end of the season. Well deserved, but this guy, your champion in 2022. Great sportsmanship from these guys. Tony D'Alberto, the king of TCR in 2022. Nicely done.